What's up guys, Beaker here, and that's what I sound like if I am very enthusiastic and loud in my car, and that's why I don't do it so much when I'm in my car. Anyways, um, exciting tutorial, flashes, everyone loves flashes, and um, I have two examples, one is going to be like a actual timed up to the song, like actually synced by hand, and the other one is just like really fast flashes um and yeah so here are the examples so it goes warm 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 so we got some flashes there pretty cool the other example is whenever you have like a really fast uh beats and a build up and uh it's just super fast and you can't even pay attention it sounds like this So obviously it's not as good, but um, it'll just save you a lot of time from, uh, you know, doing every single beat. So let's go uh, right into it. Um, first one, uh, I'll do this one. So <clears throat> um, we're going to be looking at the audio waveform for these. And so just push LL for that. And the basic thing here is just to make some solids. So make a new solid. We'll call this Flash. Um, make it comp size. Any color is fine because... So we're going to search up fill and add a fill to it. And this will help us ease the uh, the color picking a little bit. And so if you kind of read the waveform, this might take a couple tries, but um, I know it's these little blips thingies right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the solid and trim it by holding alt and then begin bracket. And trim it by holding alt and end bracket. So that just kind of trims it. And um, what we're going to do is just set the transfer mode to add. So that's cool. And then what we're going to do is push T for opacity, keyframe it at 50, and go to the end, keyframe it down to 0. It's really up to you, but um, 50 kind of just looks a little bit better. And if you put it underneath the color correction or above, you get a little bit different effects, but um, usually underneath looks good. So just kind of line that up with your first little like uh, beats or whatever you're looking for and uh, kind of mess with the length. And then once you've got that set up, just duplicate it and find your next little beats or rub, slide this over and just pick a new color. So maybe we want uh, blue. Okay, and then just duplicate it again. So again, if you don't know how to duplicate, it's either edit Duplicate or Command or Shift, not Shift, Command or Control D. And I do have a tutorial on a bunch of helpful shortcuts in AE, keyboard shortcuts, and that's uh, pretty helpful. Um, so we're just uh, lining these up, and I'm actually just going to go ahead and select all these and copy and paste and just slide this over to the next three wobbles. So, you're just going to be doing this by hand. A um, bunch of RAM previewing, probably. Just, uh, you know, make sure it's lining up. These flashes, in my case, are pretty fast. So, um, it's kind of hard to see. Yours might be a little bit slower, depending on the song. But, um, yeah, this is the basics of it. I mean... Just uh, make a bunch of solids to every kind of beat or whatever you want to hear. And it um, <clears throat> should turn out hopefully pretty nice. I mean, um, yeah, it's it's just the best method I've found so far to make it exact. So if you want, uh, you don't have to use 50% for your thingy and... Yeah, it's up to you, kind of mess around, but that that's the basic idea, make some solids and stuff. Alright, so the other example is when it's just really fast and you can't even tell what's going on. And um, this method's, uh, this method's alright. Um, if I go ahead and listen carefully to find out when that fast little drum roll thingy starts. <laughs> Let's see here, I think it's about right now. So I'm just going to start it roughly here, we can always change it later. But... Um, 
let's just make a new adjustment layer just in case if you have any other um, elements in your in your clip right here if they have more than one clip at a time go ahead and search up twitch now this is a third party plugin by video copilot so um, go get that if you don't and we're just gonna go ahead and enable uh, color and light for right now operator controls so let's go ahead and scoot forward till we find a good spot right there and that color we're gonna change this color all the way up to 200 probably more than that 300 and um, so we get this uh, yellow flashes and it's pretty pretty sweet not really what we need to do is turn up the color randomness to 100 so that will give us uh, should give us a bunch of colors but it's kinda slow what we want to do is try to have this randomize every single frame so it looks super fast so if we go to the top and go to the speed change it up to 60 should be fine so we got some purples and yellows and a little bit of red and some orange I think I saw blue in there a bunch of colors and um, if you want you can turn up the white amount but I just kept it as 50 and um, looks alright and another thing I added was the scale if you turn on the scale and you go down to the scale settings make sure that's in the center yeah and turn the scale down to like 10 we don't want it going too crazy so it'll just kinda like shake see how it's like scaling up in the middle I mean that kinda hides the fact that it's you know not a very good technique so what you want to do is just go to the uh, drum roll thingy starts and on your twitch keyframe it from zero keyframe move forward set it up to 100 and we'll go ahead and push U so we can see these keyframes and then go to the drum roll stops keyframe at 100 move forward once and down to zero there we go so it'll stay normal I'll just go stop and then boom and some CC lens and Twixter so a uh, quick RAM preview just to see if I got the timing down but um yeah it's it's not the best but twitch can just help you um help you save a lot of time if you're kinda of feeling lazy and you just want uh, lots of flashes lots of colors and stuff so yeah color light scale turn up the color randomness and um, yeah just kinda of mess with that but that's basically it uh, um, I know a lot of people asked for this, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. Tried my best to figure these out and explain them to you. So if you like this tut tutorial, go ahead and like the video, so I know, just to make sure you know, make sure you guys like it. And uh, comments and favorite and all that good stuff. That would be nice too. That makes me happy. But um, yep. Any more suggestions? Go ahead and uh, leave a comment and all that good stuff. And yeah. So until then, see you next time. Peace.